Hey guys, we're here to play Country Swing, 2 versus 2, no crates are on. A very basic, fun for all game that has been played on Railer 2 for the past 11 years. We got two Allied players, two Soviets. Let's see what goes on. This is a very basic uh, game. It's purely about tank control, about utilizing your teammates to the best of you guys' full ability. Um, there isn't a whole lot to it. As Soviet player, you just build the rhinos, maybe a few desolators. If you want, you can camp with the desolators. I am on the bottom right. Let me announce that to my teammates. Building. Construction complete. Building. New construction options. Alliance requested. Construction complete. So it's Soviets versus Allies. Building. This is not my uh, favorite type of thing because Alliance. the bottom line is when you're the Unit Soviets ready. versus the Allies, you have to take advantage of your stronger options. tanks, your early early advantages. Um, obviously, when the Allied teams are Great Britain, it kind of negates the Desolator, which is fine because if they're going to spend money on Desol uh, oh, snipers, complete. I'm just going to spend more money on, uh, on Rhino tanks, which are going to destroy the Allied team. Unit Quite frankly, on uh, Riddler 2, Allies are at a staunch uh, disadvantage against Soviets, so it really makes this type of sudden kind of lame. I don't really foresee us losing unless my partner is just garbage. Construction complete. New construction options. So I'm gonna make either two or Building. three miners. I think I'll likely limit it to two, knowing that I'm versing two allied players and I wanna get somewhat of an early advantage with my rhino tanks. And also I don't want to eat up all of my uh, ore too quickly on country swing. I know there's a lot of people that will go three miners on this map, which is totally fine, totally acceptable acceptable. But then you're left with six miners at the end of the at the end game. And you kinda wasted all your ore early. Unit ready. So I have four miners now on two refineries. I'll make one more refinery and I'll be good for the game. In terms of money. That's why this game is a little bit more basic than most. Really isn't anything to it to expand it or um, making more making more money. This is pretty much all you're left with. I mean, you do have the gems out here, which are crucially crucial in the end game. You can see that this guy is already trying to get the gems, which I don't think is too good of an idea. I mean, he's basically just sending his his uh, miner further away than they should be. But, building. you know what, that's his prerogative. Structure. He wants to do that, so, I'll sit in my base ready. with my miners right next to the ore refineries. So the nice thing about them being Great Britain and not America or Korea is I don't have to worry about anything in terms of paradrop. This guy is moving his base over there, which is kind of stupid. I don't have to worry about paradrop, I don't have to worry about Korean eagles. The most I have to worry about is a few rocketeers sniper and uh, maybe some Harriers, but Construction complete. that's nothing compared to worrying about paradrops, rocketeers, Building. eagles. It makes it rather Unit easy ready. for me. You can see how I'm stretching my base out. Unit I stretched it ready. right into the ore here to give my miners the quickest adaptation to the refinery, and I've also stretched Unit it now ready. to the middle to give myself this barrier here. To give I have more control over the warfare here. I mean, we can really kill this guy now, but it's just a fun problem. I mean, you don't want to destroy the enemies in freaking like three minutes. But regardless, it looks like that's what we're going to do. Here comes his freaking sniper. I'm going to hold this guy off, so he has no ability to do what he wants to do. So you kind of see what I've done. You can look at this guy, he's going to get his MCV, and that's pretty much game over. Unit ready. Construction complete. That's what happens when you're the allied faction versus Soviet. That's why I said in the beginning of the game that this is probably not going to end too well for them. And it's not going to be a whole lot of fun for me, which is unfortunate, because that's what these games are for. Because it didn't really challenge me worth anything. I mean, I didn't really do anything all game. 
except Unit the lost. Soviets, which... Unit lost. You know, the problem is this guy tried to tech, tech up, and that, le that leaves him extremely vulnerable at this position. When you try to tech up his allies without anything more than Unit one ready. war factory against the Soviet player that has three war factories, Unit you're, you're just asking to be destroyed early on. So, I mean, it's great and all Unit that you want to get Mirage ready. tanks, the heavy duty Mirage tanks, and a slew of. The highly tech allied units, but when you have an, uh, when you have a partner that's also the allies, you're going to be very weak at that time. It's just not going to work, especially when you're versus two Soviets. Unit lost. Kind of a born game, you know. That's what it's like these days. Unit ready. Hopefully, I find competition soon. Unit ready. Good game.